Hey guys, it's Harleywood. We are actually back outside for a video. It has been cold, winter's coming to an end, it's spring, you've probably seen 15 different Carhartt uh, hoodies and beanies over the past couple months. The sun is bright today, it's a beautiful day, and hopefully that offsets the sadness that I'm about to feel because I am decommissioning my direct action gear uh, ghost bag. This is my backpack that has served as my get home bag for a little over three years, almost three and a half years at this point. I have no qualms with this bag. It's fantastic. If you haven't seen what I have in here, this is not gonna be a review of the contents of my get home bag necessarily. I'm gonna post a link in the description below to that playlist. Check all that out. You can kind of see the progression over time of how my get home bag system has evolved. And this is in my truck 100% of the time. And it's, it's surprising how often I use it. There's a lot of times where, um, here's a perfect example. Last weekend I was in the back of my property here. I had a bunch of wood. I was building an awning on the barn and I cut my hand and literally I just went into my little med kit because my truck was already back there, grabbed a band-aid and, and got back to work. It's surprising how often I have to get in here just for, for little stuff, a multi-tool or a screwdriver or whatever. If you don't have a get home bag, call it whatever you want. You know, a lot of people get all freaked out because they think it kind of denotes an end of time scenario. It can be your emergency bag. It can be, call it whatever you want. And uh, I keep an extra set of clothes in here, all kinds of stuff. Link in the description below to that playlist. Enough said, let's uh, ditch this guy and show you the replacement. So this is the VanQuest Ibex 35. So as the name implies, this is a 35 liter bag. This particular one is in the Multicam Black. Comes in all your favorite colors. I'll post a link in the description below where you can check it out. The Direct Action Ghost is also uh, 34, 35, somewhere in that area. However, it's between two different bags. The Ghost has a bag that affixes to the front here. It is removable, which is nice, pros and cons there. However, with that, uh, that outer bag being lower, it tends to put the weight in an area where you don't necessarily want it if you're gonna be carrying any, any sort of weight for a significant amount of time. This one distributes the weight, keeps it closer to your body, makes it a little bit easier to carry. Now, it does have nice big compartments on the side with that high-vis orange. There is a loop Velcro panel as well as some slots down in the back and the bottom there. It does have a rubberized Molly panel on both sides here. Another tall compartment there with the same setup on the inside. Both upper and lower compression straps. You have your bungee uh, shock cord there on the outside. So if you wanted to put a rifle, a jacket, anything on the back side there, you could. And it also has this flap here on the back. So let's say you did stick uh, a, a pistol caliber carbine or a rifle here and you lashed it in. This could help actually help support the bottom of the pistol. There's a loop panel on kind of the upper rear of it here. And if we look on the top right here, there's two zippers. There's one there and one there. This one is just a dedicated pouch on the outside exterior of the bag. The one in the back here is actually a compartment that is accessible both from the outside with this zipper as well as an inner zipper there. It is accessible from the inside of the bag when I fold this open. It does have an elastic sternum strap, a very nice waist cummerbund system, very nice padding on the back, and it has grab handles on both sides as well as the top. Okay, so the bag does have a series of lashing straps on the bottom. The two primary zipper pulls here are rubberized. These other ones are a hard plastic, but also provide you a good grip so that you can pull these zippers open. So if we pull these all the way down and around the bag, it falls open fully. All the way down both sides of the inside of this bag is hook paneling, hook Velcro paneling. So if you have some of their other fixtures or some of their other accessories that have the loop, or excuse me, this is loop. If you have some of those other accessories that have the hook backing, you can affix them on here as well as this Molly panel on the back. Inside the back is a hard plastic support. So this keeps the bag very, very rigid. 
it's a nice hard plastic and you can hide it away. You can also hang a hydration ladder in here with the little loop across the top there. And there is a port at the back here if you wanted to exit that, uh, that hydration tube out. There is a sleeve in the back here. Let's say you wanted to slide a laptop down in there or if that's where you wanted to put your hydration pouch and then you can cinch it down with these two compression straps. And now this is actually the front lid of the bag so when it folds down you have another uh, loop panel there. You have a pouch here that you can see through with some of that ripstop fabric. And this is the pouch that I mentioned on the top is accessible either from the inside, oh, wrong one, inside or the outside of the bag. Okay, let's talk about this yoke system for a second. The yoke is actually adjustable in height. So for people with different length torsos, you can adjust this to fit you perfectly. Now, the padded cummerbund kind of waist strap down here is fixed. It is removable though. You can take it out of this compartment. But if you open this up, you can actually remove the yoke. So you can see it is now detached. It's still held by these two clips here. But on this series of laddered uh, panels here, I can adjust the height of it and Velcro it back in. So I'm actually, for myself, going to put it up just a little bit higher than it was. And just that easy, I changed the height of the yoke system. Okay, and if you've never seen these, these are their hook and loop panels. And you can see right here how it kind of affixes to the back of one of their bags. So all of their bags have the, the uh, molly webbing on the back there and you use these to weave them in and out and then you can stick them inside of your larger backpack system. These things are freaking awesome. So they go and they weave in and out of your molly. And then you simply snap it down and it's locked in place. All right, so it took a little while. If you've ever loaded one of these bags, you gotta figure out where you kind of want everything, but it's done. It wears very well and um, lots of adjustment. I like these straps on the bottom because you actually pull them forward to tighten it, which is feels a little bit more natural. Then to loosen it, you simply pull these buckles out and it loosens it right up. So it's actually pretty comfortable. Um, couple thoughts. So the direct action bag, it had a lot of um, internal pockets and slots and pen holders and stuff like that. And that's good, but it also kind of forced you to organize the way that they wanted you to organize or the way they felt was most applicable to the bag. This being such a big open setup with a few of those extra pouches, I was able to organize it kind of the way that I wanted to. Instead of a bunch of stuff loosely thrown around in there, now everything's organized and I can literally pull out a medical pouch or pull out a tool pouch or pull out, you know, whatever. So I feel like this organizes the way I want it to, not the way the bag manufacturer feels I should organize them. So that's it guys. The Ibex 35 from VanQuest. I also have another bag from them that's more of a EDC bag. It's a 16 liter bag and I'll have a review coming on that pretty soon. If you watched my SHOT Show footage, you'll know I mentioned I had a backpack there and it was very uncomfortable. I hated it. So this one is the one that will replace that application. I don't carry a backpack on an EDC basis necessarily, but I know a lot of you do. So be on the lookout for that one. The Ibex 35, this is fantastic. I'm really excited about having it. It's unfortunate it just kind of gets stuck in the back of the truck, but it's there when I need it. So thanks for watching guys. Link in the description below to this. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below. Got lots more videos to come and we'll see you in the next one.
Now we can continue.